my colleague commissioners sri brahma and dr sidi ladies and gentlemen i welcome you all for this press conference we have great pleasure in announcing the commencement of the process for general elections to the 16th lok sabha which is yet another milestone in the history of indian democracy as you all know the term of the 15th lok sabha is due to end on 31st may 2014 the terms of three state assemblies namely andhra pradesh odisha and sikkim also come to an end on 2nd june 7th june and 21st may respectively under the constitution and the representation of the people's act the election commission is mandated to complete the election process to constitute the 16th lok sabha before 31st may 2014 and similar action needs to be initiated for completing the elections for the three state assemblies before the respective dates of expiry uh, credit yes eh yeah, mobile no no mobile yeah okay the the credible elections conducted at regular prescribed intervals are the very soul and hallmark of any democratic system as part of the consultative process preparatory to general elections 2014 <coughs> the commission has held series of preparatory meetings starting with meeting with representatives of recognized national and state political parties on 4th february during the meeting while extending cooperation in conduct of free and fair polls the parties raised and brought over notice a wide range of issues relating to uh, security uh, devising revising the ceiling of election expenditure by candidates necessity to keep the various festivals and seasonal conditions in different parts of the country in view while arriving at the schedules quite a few participants were also highlighting the importance and need for holding elections in faced manner in certain critical states this was followed up by meeting with chief secretaries directors general of police home secretaries chief electoral officers of all the states and union territories we had further meetings with home secretary chairman of railway board secretary telecommunication to seek their assistance and in tying up with regard to relevant areas of election management now coming to the actual process of scheduling you all know very well some of the major factors kept in view for scheduling one 
examination schedules, particularly for state boards and central board. You all know a very large majority of our polling stations are located in educational premises and large part of polling staff are also drawn from that category. Weather plays a very important role. We are faced with the issue of early monsoon in certain parts of the country and late setting in of hot summer in certain parts of the country. We have to keep this also in view while deciding on entry date and the exit date for the elections. Some of the states have, though the coming period is not exactly crop season for the entire country, but in certain parts of the country, harvesting is a major factor which has to be kept in view. Keeping all this in view, we have drawn up our schedule which we will be sharing with you shortly. One of the prime requisites in preparation for general elections is availability of up-to-date electoral roll. Rolls have been revised with 1st January 2014 as qualifying date and final roles have been published in all the states. Total electorate as of now for general election 2014 is approximately 814 million that is 81.4 crores which is about 10 crores more than the last parliament election. You have to compare this with the electorate of 176 million for the first general election conducted for the country in 1952. As against that, the increase itself this time is 100 million over the last general election. However, there have still been, there would always be complaints about certain people not finding their names in the electoral rolls. All kinds of complaints like we voted in all the previous elections, now our names are not in the roll, we have got a peak but we are not allowed to vote, things like that. Keeping in view this kind of a predicament, we have decided to afford one more opportunity for enrollment. The Commission has directed that special camps shall be organized in all the polling stations in the country in over 9 lakh premises where the booth level officer will be available with a copy of the electoral roll displayed on the notice board with requisite number of form 6, that is the application form, etc., with the BLO. We would appeal through you to such of those who want to confirm the presence of their names in the electoral rolls to avail of this opportunity just before the general election so that if any names are missing, if any people still want to get enrolled, they can file the application on that day and we have given instructions to the election staff that all such applications shall be disposed of well in time to enable such voters to participate in the forthcoming Nine. general election. Ninth, Ninth March, Sunday, is the date which we have set apart. This is the day 
when in the entire country, in all the polling stations, booth level officers will be sitting along with the electoral roll and application forms for such people who seek enrollment at this stage. Photo electoral rolls and EPIC. These have become some of the special features of Indian elections which have helped streamline the identification process during the poll. The country had gone to polls with photo electoral rolls for the first time in 2009. At that time, the percentage of photos on the rolls was 82, while today it has reached 98.64%. So similarly, EPIC distribution, which was 82% last time, has already reached 96%. We hope it will also reach 98 to 99%, same as photo electoral rolls before the polls. Polling stations. As you know, our election poll is taken polling station wise. We have approximately 9,30,000 polling stations in the country, which is 12% more than number of polling stations in the last election that was 8.30 lakh polling stations. Over a period of time, Commission has been laying emphasis on provision of basic minimum facilities at polling stations. We have issued instructions to election staff and also followed up in meetings with chief secretaries for equipping polling stations with basic necessary facilities like drinking water, shed, this is required because of hot summer season, toilets and ramp for the physically, hand, physically challenged persons and standard voting compartments in every polling station. As has been the case during 2004 and 2009, 2014 Lok Sabha polls also shall be held with electronic voting missions. You all know about the introduction of NOTA facility in the voting missions. This was introduced during the last five state elections pursuant to the order of the Honorable Supreme Court. NOTA facility shall be provided in general election 2014 also and appropriate instructions will be issued. You also know the soul in election management of Election Commission of India is the observance and the enforcement of model code of conduct. With our announcement of the schedule today, model code of conduct shall come into force with immediate effect. We have devoted considerable time on law and order and creating secure environments for the conduct of fair, free and peaceful foals. Among the various measures to ensure free and fair elections, we have taken particular care to ensure that people living in vulnerable locations, vulnerable sections of voters, they are enabled to be in continuous touch with 
election machinery so that adequate protection is given to them to ensure that they are enabled to vote free of obstruction uninfluenced unintimidated by anyone we have asked the magistracy as well as the police machinery to maintain law and order and also to invoke the preventive provisions available in the law to ensure that all protection is given to the voters particularly in vulnerable habitations the commission has been using the services of observers extensively to keep a close watch over ground situation and to take prompt remedial action when complaints are received from different parts of the country adequate number of observers in different categories like general observer expenditure observer police observer wherever needed and awareness observers to promote voters participation will be deployed during the forthcoming elections one of the features of indian elections is election is conducted with the use of officials government officials therefore there is very great emphasis laid on the neutrality of such officials who are charged with conduct of elections the commission expects all officials engaged in the conduct of elections to discharge their duties in an impartial manner without any fear or favor they are deemed to be on deputation with election commission and shall be subject to its control supervision and discipline the conduct of government officials who have been entrusted with election related responsibilities and duties would remain under constant scrutiny of the commission and strict action will be taken against those officials who are found wanting on any account voter photo voter slips this is another feature which will be introduced in this general election which was not there during the last parliament election though we have been using it in the foregoing state assembly elections to facilitate voters to know where he is enrolled as a voter at a particular polling station the location and address of the polling station is serial number etc in the electoral roll the commission has directed that a photo copy of the electoral roll relating to that voter shall be distributed at his doorstep close to the date of the poll apart from its being a facilitation for the voter as well as for the polling staff to identify his place in the roll etc we expect this would also serve as a reminder and invitation for the voter to come and exercise his franchise on the date of the poll therefore this will be got distributed very close to the date of the poll like 3 days to 7 days before the date of the poll election commission has also mounted a series of measures for expenditure monitoring the use of money power is a matter of concern for election commission therefore special emphasis is given to check the flow and use of money during election process 
besides deployment of expenditure observers there will be sufficient number of flying squads check posts video surveillance teams media certification and monitoring committees all these will be used to keep a close watch and check on the use of money power about revision in ceiling of election expenses details are known to you these would also be made available in the booklet that will be made available at the end of the conference voter participation voter participation is one of the thrust areas for the commission commission has held the view and been holding the view that a larger announced participation of voters will contribute to enlightened and vibrant democracy therefore the sweep measures the systematic voters education and electoral participation measures which have been initiated and used in the foregoing state elections will be continued and further intensified in implementation coming to schedule compared to the state elections which we were giving in which we used to announce names of the states date of um, you know date of notification date of filing nomination last date etc that as you all agree will not be feasible to do for 35 states and union territories in a conference like this so we have prepared a booklet in which all the information is available this will be made available to you even before you leave the premises in addition to that we are also putting a copy of this on the website of the election commission and those of you who have given your email id they will also be sent by mail by the time you leave the premises it would also be in your mail id however some of the highlights of the schedule we would like to mention to you at this stage the first date of poll shall be on 7th april 2014 this is held in two states and the number of parliamentary constituencies covered will be 6 the next date of poll is 9th april which will cover five states and seven parliamentary constituencies the third date of poll you should mark the difference from face of the poll to date of the poll we are using the expression days of the poll this will be poll days the third poll day will be on 10th april which will cover 14 states and 92 parliamentary constituencies the fourth poll day shall be on 12th april covering three states and five parliamentary constituencies the fifth poll day will be on 17th april covering 13 states and union territories and 122 parliamentary constituencies the next sixth poll day shall be on 24th april covering 12 states and 117 parliamentary constituencies seventh poll day shall be on